What's up guys? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to um, make golf physics. So basically what this is is that it allows you to um, have this golf ball that um, aims to where your mouse pointer is and it bounces off walls, has friction, and you're trying to get it into this hole, right? Oh, well, this actually isn't my project. It's This project is by Cap Animation. Um, he was asking me the other day to um, help him um, you know, coding some golf physics. Well, I kind of volunteered. So um, today I'll be teaching you how to um, do this. Now we're gonna create a new project. Um, I already done that. I've called it golf physics, and you can see I have two sprites: golf ball and level. So in golf ball, you kind of just want to draw a um, ball, and <laughs> in level, just you might want to have four walls surrounding, um, you know, the costume. So. We're going to start by saying when green flag clicked and um, forever, we are going to create two new variables. We'll call them X vel um, for the sprite only and Y vel for the sprite only. Great. We're going to set them to zero at the start of our loop. Well, at the start of the script, sorry. Um, then we are going to, um, we're going to change our, these variables by, um, the distance between our mouse pointer and our golf ball if um you know we click right so we're gonna say if mouse down what mouse down is is that it's basically whether your mouse is you know clicking so if mouse down then we are going to set our x vel to you know the distance between our mouse pointer and you know the ball and probably divided by 10 because you don't want it to be um too large, right? So we're gonna say mouse x minus our x position. So if you go to motion, find x position here. So this will be the distance between our mouse. Currently it is negative 240. So um, basically it's saying that this and our mouse pointer here and our ball here has a distance of 240. Anyway, um, we're gonna divide that by 10 now because we don't want that value to be too big. And we're gonna do the same thing for y bell. So if I go here, um, find Y position, um, mouse Y, put it in there. Um, if we check our X file, it is working, right? However, um, we kind of um, want it to only sense when you're clicking, right? Because after one click, it's gonna set the value to um, these, and then we want it to stop, right? So we're gonna create a new variable. We're gonna call this mouse down with the question mark for display only. And we're gonna say, if mouse down, then we're gonna set our mouse down to um, Y because Y stands for um, yes. And we're also gonna say, if mouse down and um, mouse down equals to N, then we're gonna allow this. So after once after one click, then it's gonna set mouse down to Y, and this script won't work, right? Because mouse down is not um y, uh, not N, it's Y. So we also want to say if not mouse down. I'm sorry about my computer worrying again. Um, then we're going to set mouse down to N. So basically, what this does is that it's saying. If our mouse, if we are not clicking, then it's gonna set mouse down to end, right? So it's gonna allow us to click. Um, let me just hide all of these variables so you can see. Well, let me show you this. So you see now, I click, it's the same value. If, if I click again, it changes, right? But if I click and hold, nothing will happen. Only when I release it, oh, I'm sorry. Click, changes, release. Click, changes, drag it around, nothing happens, right? So that's gonna be great. Next. We're going to change our X by X vel, and we're going to change our Y by Y vel. So now, um, you know, these variables are not affecting, um, you know, our ball, right? By the way, at the start, you also want to add in a go to X zero, Y zero, so you can see the ball. Now, if we try it now, we goes that direction. We goes that direction. We goes that direction. Now that's a great start. Um, we still have to add in our friction and collision script, right, to make it not go in a level. So we're gonna, in order to add in friction, we're gonna say set our x vel 
to xvel times 0.9. Now, um, if you are in secondary or probably primary, you might have learned that if you multiply a number that is less than 1, you get um, a smaller value. So, we're going to set yvel to yvel times 0.9. Basically, what this is, is that it is um, adding in friction. So, if you see now, our value slowly decreases to 0 because it is multiplying um, xvel by 0 0.9 each, um, each second, right? Well, it's probably looping around very quickly, right? So, it's slowly getting back to, um, you know, 0. We... Well, you can adjust this by um, changing this value here. For example, if you have a value closer to 1, let's say 0 0.95, then you'll see that our ball actually drifts um, longer because it's because there's less friction. Um, anyway, now that's sorted, we're going to add in the collision script. Now, this is going to be the hardest part of our physics. Um, we're going to say if... First, we're going to say if we are touching our level. So if we're touching this, right? We're going to first see if we can get out if we change our x right we're gonna say repeat um ceiling where can i find ceiling oh yes ceiling go to the drop down click on ceiling off abs which is absolute value off xvel so what this does is that it basically repeats um let's say six or seven depending on the value of xvel for example, if xvel was, um, let's say, negative 5, right? Um, ABS of xvel basically converts xvel to a positive number, so it becomes um, 5. Then it, it repeats 5, right? Because the ceiling of 5 is 5. Ceiling basically rounds whatever the number is um, up, all right? So if it was 0 0.51, it would become 0 0.6, um, I think. Um, anyway, we're going to say change x by xvel divided by xvel times negative 1. Well, we don't want it to be xvel divided by xvel. We want it to be abs of xvel divided by xvel. Why? This is going to allow us to convert um, xvel either to 1 or negative 1. All right. Um, I will I, I explain this... Um, collision script in some of our other tutorials, um, probably in my platformer tutorials. So if you're interested, you can check that out too, to learn why this actually works. And I'm going to set our xvel to xvel times negative one at the end of this script. So basically, let's say we're moving at the speed, right? Okay, we're touching level. First, it repeats until it's not touching it. Then, it sets our xvel to xvel times negative 1. So it's going to go the other way. And it's going to go here, boink, 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 boink. Well, now there's, a, now there's a problem. Because if we're doing this, let's say xvel is 13, right? 13, oh my god, we're touching. Then we're going to repeat 13. We're going to get out. But now you see there's a, slight va there's a slight difference here. So there's an easy fix to this, and it's to add an if loop inside. We're going to say if touching level in here, then we're going to change x by um, ABS of XVL divided by XVL times negative 1. <laughs> it's kind of like a tongue twister. Um, now, if you try it, watch this. Boom. Our ball can smoothly... Ooh, well, that's a problem. You see that our um, golf ball is kind of into, going into our um, wall, right? Well, that's because this is not running without screen refresh. Um, so we're going to create a new custom block. Make a block. We're going to call it golf physics run around screen refresh to click this okay we're just gonna drag it in here and we're gonna define it as this so what this does is that it makes the repeat loop much faster if you see now um it seems that it's just bouncing off right no more glitches see you, did you see that that was perfect collision boom here bam boom bam boom bam boom bam okay um Anyway, well, there's a problem now, because see, if we hit our golf ball vertically, oh, it glitches. That's why we're going to say, after we are um, changing our x vol by, um, you know, getting out of the level, trying to do this, if we're still touching level, it means that we are um, hitting the wall vertically, right? 
So instead, we're going to say, if we're still touching level, we're going to repeat ceiling of ABS of Y bell. And we're going to replace everything with our Y variables. Let me delete that. Change these to Y bell. And we're going to set our Y bell to Y bell to negative one. So if you see now, not only do we have um, horizontal um, you know, collision, we also have a vertical collision. Boink, 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 boink. Um, now you see one problem you might notice is that when we hit our golf ball like this, it bounces the other way around, which is not how physics works, right? It should bounce like boink like that, right? That's because we're setting x to x times negative 1 um, before here, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to say, Set x vel to x vel times negative 1 here again. So we're flipping x vel back to its um, original value. Because, you know, if x vel is 5, we change it to negative 5, then we change it to 5 again. So nothing happens. Let me show you. See? Now, um, our collision works. You see there's a slight delay in between, but it will do. Because, um, you know, this script is screen, run without screen refresh, right? So that's the basics of our um, collision. Um, now you notice one problem is that, um, you can actually change the ball's direction, um, through its mid-flight, right? You want it to only be able to, um, shoot only when it's, you know, not moving, right? So how can we do that? We're going to say, if mouse down and mouse down equals N, then we set mouse down to Y, then we're going to repeat until, all right, repeat until, um, let's say, xvel equals to 0 and yvel oh sorry and yvel equals 0 so our ball is not moving we're going to do this um we want to drag it in here right great so if you try now um we click um, you see, it's actually running without screen refresh for this too, right? So um, that will be a really, really big problem. Hmm, how can we fix this? Well, there's a very easy fix. It's because you right now everything is running without screen refresh, right? Um, all we need to do is to create a new custom block. We're going to call this collision, and don't run without screen refresh, okay? We're going to call this collision, and we're going to drag it in here, and we're going to clip it everything here. Now, collision is not running out screen refresh. Sorry, I made a mistake there. You want this to run um, with without screen refresh, okay? Collision, run out of screen refresh. I forgot to click it. Okay, this is probably getting really confusing now, but we're also going to make glow physics not running without screen refresh, okay? So it's running with screen refresh. All right, you see what this does now is that... Boom. We can we are not able to move until X vel is zero and Y vel is zero. So you have to wait all the way until it's zero. Then you still can't shoot because um X vel and Y vel are actually um not um zero yet. Well the reason is because X vel and Y vel are very tiny decimals. So we can round our X vel instead. So rounding means that it makes the um, numbers just one digit, okay? So if you see now, boom, we can do it again. Fire. 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 Well, um, yeah, our script actually works really well. And if you ever doubt if this is not working, let me show you now. I'm going to draw a bunch of random squares. To show you that this script works perfectly. Alright. Um, if you're still a bit confused. Let me just um, probably zoom out a bit. So you can see the entire script. To make sure you got everything right. Um, yeah. Uh, make sure the collision is running without screen refresh. Alright. Let me show you. Let's say here. Boink. Boom. Everything runs really well.
Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was a bit long, um, almost 15 minutes, and my computer is working like crazy now. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to use it if you're use making any golf games or um, whatever. Um, and I will see you in our next tutorial.